next question we have is from uh, Heather at Starless World. Uh, Dr. Paul, who is your Liberty mentor? <clears throat> well, they, uh, I don't have one that's way up there, but the one person that has come to my mind, I maybe even said his name tonight already, at least I mentioned the organization, the Foundation for Economic Education, and that was Leonard Reed. And uh, he, he was sort of a lone voice. He was somebody that was organizing after World War II, but he, he brought together the people who, who were holding the, the Liberty message together. Uh, the Austrian school was alive and well, you know, Mises was writing, and, and Murray uh, Rothbard was involved not too long after that. But uh, uh, Leonard put this together mainly to get the literature out. And he had two things. Uh, make sure you know what the issue is. If you're well informed, you don't really have to worry about what you're going to do. Somebody will find you and have, have you do something. But he also uh, preached or taught that the way you do it is important too. That if 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 you use it, uh, if you try to spread this message by sort of a, a personal authoritarian approach, I know best. You listen to me. This is what you have to do. It, you know, turns people off. So he was big on that. But he uh, he he practiced a lot of education. He he believed in small groups to get people to understand the issues. So I would say his name has come up the most. But I mentioned a lot of the others, and I know I know uh, uh, Mises and Hayek and all all the economists uh, uh, had a lot of influence on me understanding the economic system. Okay. Next question uh, comes from uh, Slippery Pete. <laughs> Will you be running again in four years? comes from uh, Senator Eric Brakey. He says, how did you find the tenacity to stand alone for 30 years? Did you ever imagine this movement happening? <laughs> well, it wasn't difficult because I was far enough along in understanding this and I was dedicated personally and committed, uh, you know, in a very personal way, that if I had done anything else, I wouldn't have been a happy person. <laughs> so I did it out of uh, self-interest. I wanted to be a happy person. So I didn't, uh, I didn't go along with, uh, with, with the crowd there. My goals were, the, the goals are different. If, it's, uh, if my goal had been to be the chairman of the banking committee, literally, you know, I could have played my cards right and been the chairman. But by then I wouldn't have a soul and I wouldn't have a message. <laughs> I wouldn't have a message, it would be gone. You know, I'd be, I'd be uh, running for the chairmanship of the Federal Reserve to print more money or something. <laughs> no, uh, that, uh, I, I just, uh, it, it would have been just too difficult. It would have been a lot, people say, how do you resist it? I said, how could I have done it? <laughs> All right, next question uh, comes from Alejandro Jimenez. Do you have any essential book recommendations for a new libertarian like myself? <laughs> well, I've tried to attempt on that. I won't mention those books, but you can find it. But uh, Murray Rothbard has some great stuff uh, on, on liberty. Murray Rothbard had, uh, he had a great book on economic policy that really got me going, and that was uh, American's Great Depression. And then if you get really interested, uh, you read Mises' book. But you don't have to read Human Action. Uh, that is a big book, and now you don't start with that. But Mises wrote a lot of shorter, shorter books about bureaucracy and socialism, all that stuff. So I'd get, uh, there's a variety of books you can find at the Mises Institute uh, and, and a lot of things. But, uh, and like I said, if he's brand new, I think that, that message that is the principle of, uh, of liberty that you, uh, you you can't do uh, any, you can't do anything. Government can't do anything that you're not allowed to do. You know we're not allowed to do it. Government shouldn't be allowed to do it. So if you can't steal, the government shouldn't steal. So we're all against government stealing. Remember that. This uh, next question is from Connor Oster, Dr. Ron Paul. What are your thoughts on Senator McCain? making claims that your son works uh, for foreign dictators. <laughs> Senator McCain is very confused. <laughs> Uh, 
way that's very confused. But I do, I do have one concern about that whole issue that, you know, on the internet now, when your name pops up, uh, you're a bad guy. If you happen to be a good guy, then you're lumped in with the bad guys and you get listed as spreading these messages. So it, our organizations, I don't know whether, whether you, IL was distinguished by being accused of the same thing, participating. <laughs> so all you have to do is say something, we shouldn't go to war with Russia. Oh, you were, you know, you, you're owned by Putin. <laughs> you know, it, it's really ridiculous. But I, I am concerned about how the, the uh, social network networks are able to pick out key words and, and uh, sort of uh, blackball you. So I'm, I'm a, I don't like that idea. Sure. Uh, last question.